today we're gonna start um, a new painting and it's gonna be a Christmas ornament and this one is gonna be an angel for the tree top so let's get started uh, the first thing that you're gonna get um, you can buy the the cutouts from wood by Tom at AL.com um, or you can cut it yourself and what you're gonna do is you're gonna trace your pattern the colors uh, only the lines that separate colors you're gonna trace only the lines that separate colors and you don't, you're not gonna put any any of the uh, finger uh, lines or or eyes or mouth anything like that with a piece of tape you will put your pattern on top of your piece and with a black graphite make sure you put the right side touching your surface and you're going to use a stylus to mark the lines once you have done that it's going to look like this you're going to start base coating and the colors for the base coating are going to be in your pattern once you have base coated your design um, this way this is um, this color is sea breeze the flesh was base coated with flesh tone the hair was base coated with mink tan and the wings were base coated with antique white and the star was base coated with gold I mistakenly left the band which is going to be base coated also with a uh, sea breeze the hair band I'm going to trace it now and I'm going to also trace uh, some of the, li the lines that I'm missing now I'm going to use black for the hair and the face and for the for this section in here I'm going to use the white graphite for the dress I'm going to use the white graphite and then for the remainder of the sections I'm going to use the gray graphite and I'm going to trace now also the band uh, which I'm going to base coat with this the same turquoise color and I will be right back okay so we have the project on this stage so uh, the smaller one is easier to have it in camera completely so we base coated um, all the sections we trace back the inside lines the eyes the eyebrows the mouth the nostrils the fingers and um, the um, folds in the dress and what I like to do always I take a liner and very very um, inky consistency amount of paint of rosette I always trace all my fissures before I start shading because I don't want to lose them so I always use with rosette and trace all my fissures so now it is at the stage that we can we're gonna start highlighting and shading in order to create form and the back you can paint it again with the design or you just can put just one color I like to put just one color and in the back I do a dedicatory if I'm giving it to somebody or I put a stamp a Christmas stamp and I put the date that I painted it so you don't have to paint the back exactly the same but if you want to because it's gonna be hanging in the Christmas tree you can paint the back exactly as you dig the front so it looks um, we are now because what I did was this is the band the bang and um, they're gonna have loose hairs but I painted the flesh up to there and then later on I'm gonna put the, the hairs on top because I wanna uh, shade all that before I put um, the hairs so we're gonna start with the flesh and we're gonna give this angel some life so we're gonna start with the head and then we go to the body uh, we're gonna use 
dry time extender medium and I'm gonna put that I'm gonna dress my face with that Let's dress this with this. Okay, so this is a number 14 and it has the extender because I use it to dress so it already has the extender in the brush. I'm going to pick a uh, shading flesh. It's the color I'm going to use to shade the flesh. I'm going to pick shading flesh and I'm going to float I'm going to float in my palette and I'm making a big float because I'm going to start with the top section so I'm going to float in here I'm walking down my float and you had the extender so you can play with that with it and gonna come down in there and in here so actually all the way around and I have to do this in stages so let's leave that one as the first one and let that to dry while that is drying I'm gonna do the same on the other one gonna dress it with extender and float work your floats because if you do not work your floats you're not gonna get good floats so work them in the palette paper and I'm gonna go down on the side if I go on top of the finger I just clean it with the clean side and on the other side so I went all the way around. I went here, then on both sides, and I'm going to let this dry. While that is drying, I can work on the other, on the hands, so and the neck. So work on the hands and the neck, so I am putting extender on the hands and the neck. Again, I'm going to float shading flesh. Let's start in here. Cannot do both all at the same time because everything is wet. So I'm putting this side and this side. And let's do the other one in here. Again, dressing with a stander. And loading the float and I am loading in the same exact same area that I did before let's do one side and the other side so while that is drying we can do the legs Tender. Let's 
loading. Underneath the dress. Underneath the dress. As, as a finger that is up in there. So in there. In here. Okay. So, I think it's safe to put it underneath the neck. Okay. Underneath the neck. I already put extender in there, so I don't have to put extender again. The other side of this hand, I can put an in the fingers. Okay, the oh, this hand I had to, but I didn't do it on the other one, but I'm gonna do it in there. The other side and the fingers. And let's do in here a tiny bit like that, and in this one too. It's only the first shading. Let this dry. Let's let that dry. Okay, so while that is drying, I can start with the dress and I am putting some extender in here. And this time I'm gonna shade with bluegrass green. Again, I'm gonna uh, use floats. So I'm going to float. I am floating in my palette the bluegrass and I'm gonna start with uh, in here and I'm gonna do the same on the other side remember it starts where the hand is This is created by the hand. There's a small one in here. I think I need to put a tiny bit of the blue in there. So I'm going to put the correct that with the teal green and we'll be right back. Okay, this is was what I, I was correcting. I needed that uh, tiny bit of teal green in there. Okay, so we are shading in here and in here. You need to have a clean brush to clean any places where it goes in the wrong place. So I'm gonna let this dry. Okay, I'm gonna flow without the extender because the extender was not helping. You see, I floated in here without the extender and in here with the extender. So um, I'm gonna do it without the extender. It seems that uh, bluegrass is a very 
um, transparent color so if you put extender then it's, it's too transparent then so I'm gonna float the bluegrass underneath the there's a band in here it's a band in there I'm gonna do it on both of them We're going to paint uh, that band in gold when we're done. So, there, we're going to paint that band in gold when we're done. We float these two because they were not pretty. to this one in here I put the, the lines in in white and I can hardly see them I hope you can and in here Instead of using the finger, you can use a mop. You don't have to be using your fingers. This one in here. Get some mop. Okay, and don't forget that the this is raised in here. And we are going to put some folds also on the dress. We're doing both at the same time. So you can have the option of doing either a ornament or or a Christmas tree topper okay so back to the head uh, we're gonna take again shading flesh and we are going to float uh, right in here So shading flesh and we are going to float right in here next to the dress. Here. I think I have too much water. If you have too much water, it's not going to take in the brush. You can remove some of the water like that, like that, or even uh, putting um, the water in the paper towel, like this. I'm going to show you, I'm going to load it again, and if it has too much water, I can remove some of the water like that. Now it is in my paper, paper towel. And then I can float again. I 
next to here. I think we did that before, but somehow it doesn't show now. So you can reinforce as many times as you need your floats. So reinforce them as many times as you need. Okay, now that the face is dry, um, the eyes are closed, so they're casting the, not the eye, but the eyebrows, um, not the eyelashes, I'm sorry, the eyelashes are casting a shadow on underneath. So we are going to take a float and we are going to float underneath like so let's take uh, and float underneath the mouth to the other one reloading underneath the eye and underneath the mouth let's float the eyelid So the eyelid the eyelids I'm going to Give, uh, let me blend this in here. I'm going to give a um, tiny bit of color in the lips and I'm going to use cinnamon drop but I wanted it to be light so I'm going to blend it with my highlight color. Let me bring it. Okay, so I'm going to take a liner and I'm going to mix um, natural buff. Let me show you these two colors. I'm going to mix natural buff and cinnamon drop for the lips. Make a very pinky, fleshy tone. Maybe I'm going to add uh, some of the flesh tone. So plus flesh tone. <laughs> While that is wet, I'm going to take a tiny bit more of the cinnamon. And I'm going to start um, shading. The center, the lower section. I think I'm going to go again with the cinnamon drop. That was too strong. Take again my flesh tone and then with that. I 
I want uh, the inside line. I'm going to put rosettes. On the inside line, I'm going to put rosettes. gonna take that um, color. I wanna eliminate all those uh, graphite lines. So I'm going with this cinnamon drop on top of the graphite lines. Then I'm gonna take white And I'm going to highlight with white. Remember the that was the cinnamon drop because the inside is always um the inside is always um darker and this is the natural natural puff so I like that tiny bit that other one okay I'm gonna do the same on the other one and we'll be right back. Okay, so we are going to shade for the nose, uh, also a float. We are going to float on the top of the nose and underneath and on the sides. So on the top. Preparing my float underneath and on the sides. I am reinforcing this one in the side and that was too, too, I think it was too wide so I'm gonna use a smaller brush if you use a smaller brush it will not go as wide And I want to reinforce this one a tiny bit, make that side a tiny bit darker than the other one. All this is going to be underneath the head, the hair. I'm going to use a larger one for the, for the lash. Large, larger brush for larger surfaces or areas. All this is underneath the hair. I'm 
Okay, let's start highlighting the face. And we are going to use that natural buff. We can highlight the beads. Notice that I didn't put it all the way. I want to put it in the center. I'm going to do the same for the other one. The natural buff. The same color. We're going to highlight the nose. Highlight the nose. Both of them. Okay, the sheen. the chin. Let's do a softer one. In the middle of the... Okay, let's put some extender. Like this a tiny bit and I'm gonna mop that gonna mop that the other one extender and mop that okay so we are gonna put some between the eyes I'm going to mop that. Let's put some cheeks. That was shading flesh between the eyes. I'm going to highlight with the natural buff. Both of them. Put a tiny bit of hair color on the eyelashes. I mean eyebrows. I'm gonna start building up the cheeks. 
I'm going to put extender on the face because now I'm going to float the cheeks and I'm going to take the cinnamon drop and I'm going to use a large brush because I want to do a wide float and I'm going to start in here gonna mop the excess color with a mop you're supposed to have extender or this is not going to work if you don't have extender it's not going to work You can put some of this color on the upper section of the, you see I didn't put the extender and it doesn't work if you don't put extender. I'm going to do the same on the other one. the cinnamon tree the uh, cinnamon and mop and then mop look like a lot but she doesn't have the hair yet we have to highlight this to the hair so that uh, we can start adjusting colors in the face. So the hair. So we started with the um, we started with the um, um, let's take chocolate and start shading with chocolate. The hair was base coated with um, mink tan, and now we're gonna use chocolate to shade. Let's shade around the face. around the face underneath that uh, ribbon we're not doing hairs yet we just we are just shading only shading finish uh, shading the hair uh, the dress yet and that ear needs to be shaded too Okay, I 
this. I'm going to do the other one. I'll be right back. Let's shade the ear on the inside and on the outside. Okay, so we need a um, round brush so that we can start doing hairs. And I will be right back. I'm going to find one and we'll be right back. Okay, so this is our round number three. And I'm going to start with this color. And I'm going to start uh, doing hairs, hair strands. And this color is the dark chocolate. So I'm going to do hair strands of dark chocolate with these So dark chocolate Dark chocolate. Sometimes you're gonna have more, some strong ones like that. When you come in here, you separate in there. So start going the other way. So here and there. Putting the hairs in here. And I'm going to do the same on the other one, and I will be right back. Okay. So, we put it on that stage, and now we have to, we have to bring another color that was uh, dark chocolate, and we're going to bring now soft black. And we're going to do the same with soft black. And now we're going to uh, put some eyelashes. I'm going to put some, like, if it has barley looking in there like that and then on top of that I'm gonna put the lashes with the dark chocolate first
big latches. Maybe it's looking at Jesus. Okay, so I re highlight the um, eyelids with the uh, highlight color with with the natural buff like that. Let's re highlight um, in here. I'm going to use the natural buff with a tiny bit of the flesh tone so that it's not as strong. In there. in there let's zoom up and up Now we are going to, oh, let's highlight again the nose with the natural buff. Okay, I think you need to highlight the cheeks in here with the natural buff. The bowl is in here. The cheeks. Okay, let's shade. Shading flesh underneath the neck. The strong shading underneath the neck that has to be strengthened. Let's take since we have already in there a tiny bit of that dark chocolate with the shading flesh. Dark chocolate plus shading flesh. underneath the neck and make it darker okay 
Okay, and then we were gonna uh, uh, continue with the hair strands. Okay, with the um, round brush, and this time we're gonna take uh, the dark chocolate combined with the uh, soft black. and make some darker I'm gonna do it on both faces on both uh, ornaments Take a tiny bit of water so that it, it um, moves. Tiny bit darker. And I'm going to float again the hair, the, the hair. Gonna take that soft black and float some areas in the hair. Like for example, in here. and in here Let's throw it again in here. Okay, let's do the same on the other one. So we're floating soft black floating soft black soft black black Okay, we're going to shade again uh, behind these two hands, both of them, behind the two hands. Are highlighting the hands. Let's, let's shade again the feet and then we're gonna highlight the hands. Seems that I 
somehow oops this in here Okay, so we are floating the feet. So on the outside edge too. Okay, we need to do the wings, but before we do the wings, uh, we're gonna finish shading the the. Let's shade the band again with the bluegrass on the outside edge. the outside edge let's shade uh, this section underneath both of them Okay, the top part of the leaf sleeve, the top part of the sleeve. Things have to be done in stages because while they are wet, wet. If you do two at the same time, you may remove the one that you have done previously. So the top part of the sleeve on both of them. Let's take the map. Okay, the outside edge, both outside edges of the dress. From here, to here, to the outside in here.
I'm going to put um, accents now on the dress that are going to be gold. Let's uh, highlight the dress and then we can put the accents. Okay, re highlight with white in here. You can put a tiny dot of the buff in the eyes and then um, cover that a tiny bit with the dark chocolate so that it doesn't show that much put some of the dark chocolate plus um, soft black on the eyebrows okay so a tiny bit of the natural buff on this hand some of the fingers Any bit more in there. Okay, let's put um highlights on the dress and we're going to do that with um, we are going to do that um, we're going to use sweet, sweet mint and it's going to be dry brushed so what you do when you're doing dry brushing uh, you need a this is a dome, dome round brush uh, they come in many different brands. So I'm gonna take some of that uh, sweet mint color that I told you on my brush and then I'm gonna remove it in the paper towel and then I'm gonna start um, applying it to my surface. This is called dry brushing. I'm gonna do it again remove it I may do some there I think I'm going to also put some folds there and let's put some in here up to there I'm gonna do one first this one and then we can do the other one. There. Like that. 
that. Put in this in here again. Now, I think I need to put some folds in the dress. So going back to my flats and going back to the bluegrass. Let's put some in here. another one in here like that okay let's do, do it also on the other one need to put more color to back floats and mop let's do another one in here That is enough, and let's continue with the dry brushing. In between, between those floats is that you're going to put your dry brushing. Put some on the band. Maybe too big for the band. Anyway, I'm going to take the bluegrass back to the bluegrass. I have to put a tiny bit more on my palette. Here, 
like that. Let's do the other one in here. And in here. Like that. Okay. We have to do the other side of the sleeve. The other side of the sleeve. Okay, we're gonna put the coast, um, the gold accents, um, and I'll show you where the gold accents. I'm gonna use this number one round brush, and I'm gonna use gold. Soften her face. You're gonna take a uh, flesh tone plus dioxins and purple. And you're gonna put a tiny tint of purple in this side of the face. Um, to tell you, um, you can put a tiny bit in this on on this area too. Um, flesh reflects all colors from the background, so that can be any color from the background reflecting on the f adding a different color to the flesh is going to soften your painting so I added also a tiny bit of that purple tint on that side and I'm going to do it in this one too so that they match Okay, so that uh, soften a tiny bit your your face, adding a tiny bit more uh, color. Sometimes when I do portraits, I add oh, greens, oranges um, to the paintings. Even you can take a tiny bit of the blue from the dress and add it to that flesh tone and add it in some place here in the in the flesh so things like that that will make your piece purple this is some purple blush flesh tone can be added also on the hair in tiny places on the hair you can also add that flesh tone let's see I mean uh, that uh, um, gray purplish color now the hair I want to highlight a tiny bit the hair so let's take uh, the base color which was mink tan and add a tiny bit of the um, natural buff
and looks too looks too white. If it looks too white, not good. So maybe we can take a honey brown. Maybe we can take honey brown and hide it with honey brown. I will be right back. Okay, scratch that. I didn't like honey brown, so I'm gonna use the same color that you use for the base coat, um, which I don't see anymore, and. I'm going to make a few hairs of this color. And that's going to be our highlights. So the same color that you use for your base coat, which is the um, mink tan, that's going to be the highlight. Do a few hairs of that. here and there. Okay, we're gonna take gold and we are going to outline some areas with gold starting with the top in here Then we're going to outline also in here. In here. there <coughs> the waistband and the board bottom of the dress We have to re-highlight the the dress, but we're gonna work a tiny bit of the on the wings. Okay, so for the wings, first you're gonna float in here. Then you're gonna start making scalloped shapes on the lower section. And we are not going to be very perfect because if I try to do to make you do this very perfect. Um, it's going to be a lot of work. So, and then in here, these are shaded like this. So let me go back so you can see. And start all over. And we are using to shade uh, Ming Tan. The same color that we used in the hair so that we don't um, have that many colors. So here these ones are like this, like this, this is only the shading with mink tan. Okay, so mink tan like that. 
I'm gonna repeat it for you. This is only the shading. I'm gonna do the other one so that you know how to do it. So we start with Mintan. And we're gonna start with in here. Like that. Then in the lower section, we do scallops. We are floating. When we get to this area, we are doing it this way. Okay, now I'm going to do the same on the other side and then we're going to highlight. If you need to reinforce some, you can, for example, start in here, like that, the other one, like that, and the other one, like that, and the other side. We are floating. Okay. Before we continue with the wings, I want to reinforce some of the highlights on the dress and this is again the same color which was the sea breeze no I'm sorry the sweet mint is the highlight the sweet mint sweet mint Sweet mint. Like that. Okay, the the gold has to be shaded and highlighted. So we're gonna highlight it with um, yellow gold, and we're gonna shade it with rich espresso. 
So let's first highlight and then we can shade. Okay, so yellow gold to highlight. Yellow gold. Can hardly see it. I don't see the difference between the two. So I'm just going to sh only shade it with, uh, let's see if the Rich Espresso works. If not, I'm not going to have you buy extra colors. So this is the Rich Espresso. Okay, so I'm shading with the Rich Espresso. As that works. the edges I'm putting a tiny bit of the rich espresso to shade. Okay, so uh, I shaded it, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a second coat of my color in the areas that were not shaded. So a second coat of the gold in the areas that were not shaded. And I will be right back. So now... Uh, we have to uh, highlight the the wings, and I'm gonna start with light mocha, and then if I need to highlight more, I will go to white. Okay, so now we're gonna start highlighting, and we're gonna highlight this like this. the same on the other side And now, after you do that, um, you're going to highlight the top, um, but the top I'm going to dry brush. 
going to take the dumb round, I'm going to clean it, remove all the water, and I'm going to do this color in here. with dry brushing so paint remove the paint and then apply it to your surface dry so that's the done round you can do the same on the lower section if you want or you can float doing this because then I'm not too specific on that lower section. I'm trying to make this a very easy project. If I put it, so if you do it this way, it's easier than if you start trying to put too many detail. Notice that I'm letting it go down and break some of that. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to show you closer so you can see what I did. Okay, so I'm going to do the same now for the other one. And I will be right back. If you want to put any detail, like example, you can put lines like this. If you want to add, you know, extra detail, but it's not necessary. If you, you can add things like that. Shade the lower section. And there's not too much to do it done in here. Uh, I'm gonna try something different. And yourself. Um, maybe just a highlight on the tip of the nose. I'm gonna use a liner. And this is gonna be white. And think I highlight her eyelids. I'm just gonna eliminate this uh, float from there with the ba um, base coat color. I didn't like it, so I'm just gonna eliminate there and just highlight in there. I'm adding extender and extender and um forgot the name extender with a uh, crystal glamour dust when the extender dries uh, that is gonna stay in your piece I put extender 
in here with some of the Crystal Glamour Crystal Glamour Dust And I have some now on the other one. I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to protect it um, with um, glazing medium before I put the varnish. I'm going to make sure that I don't lose this um, glamour dust. Fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Not the fun. Okay, I think it has enough. I'm gonna now let it dry. And we're gonna call this done. One, one final detail is um, looking at it um, I did another float on the eye on this side in here like that and I I think I'm going to extend the highlight and then with white with a tiny bit of white
Okay, I'm gonna do the same on the other one and we'll be done. One last one last comment is that I also decided to put the the glamour dust in the start at the top. And that way it's in another place there. I hope you enjoyed this uh, piece.